Today, I want to show you how you can set up your climb at an angle. What you're going to do is remove the legs from the underside. You'll only need two for this exercise. And install them. Once you feel that you have the legs screwed in, I do want to make sure that you give them an extra twist to make sure that they're nice and snug. Use two hands. Once you've installed the legs, you'll flip it over and install safety plugs. Safety plugs can be purchased separately at www.blue-9.com. And these are great for plugging the holes when you do not have the legs installed. So you'll simply put the safety plug over the hole and press it in with the palm of your hand. Now that those are in there, your puppy paws are safe from falling into the holes. Now we're ready to do some exercises. So some fun exercises that you can do with your dog are having them target the angled climb with just their front feet and then practicing nose touches from side to side. This helps with independent limb awareness as well as learning how to shift their weight on cue. Good job, bud. Another fun exercise to practice with the angled climb is teaching rear foot targeting, such as for teaching two on, two off for agility, or even building it to a fun trick. Come, come, go back, 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 back. Good, come, go back, 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 yes. So this exercise right here is a great rear end strengthening exercise. And the reason why we like to use it on the angled climb is because it encourages the dog to shift their weight backwards. So go pause up. Sit. <laughs> go pause up. Sit. Stand. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Stand. Good job. For more canine conditioning and body awareness exercises, check out our canine conditioning DVD at www.blue-9.com.